welcome back to the Trippy Show. It's time to get into the paranormal news. We've had some UFO sightings. Some people are saying that a UFO sighting Mike's going to talk about could be definitive proof that uh, these UFOs are completely real. Before we talk about that, I want to get into a massive triangle UFO, which was reported very low over New Jersey town. Uh, This witness reported watching a black massive triangle-shaped UFO. It was soaring about 9.50 p.m. They're saying this was June 22nd, of course, 2015 this year. Their quote is, I was leaving, and as I was packing my car, I thought I saw a bat or bird in the sky from the corner of my eye. I turned and looked closer to see this thing flying towards me. As it got closer, it got larger in size. Uh, The picture they wrote is very interesting. I was almost thinking, at first, it kind of reminded me of the Jersey Devil. So many people in Jersey Uh, have talked to... the Jersey Devil. Yeah, I mean, this is a massive triangle shape, but they drew a picture out. And it has an exhaust pipe. It looks like some sort of military Damn. vehicle, but at the same time, it does have a little bit of an alien feel to it. That's for sure. He said no lights were on it at all. Um, perhaps they are testing a stealth vehicle, but it would be an interesting place to test it at a New Jersey neighborhood. They have to know for sure a sighting is going to occur. Uh, any take on this one, Kyle? We talk about triangle UFOs all the time. Yeah. Is this a military aircraft? Who knows? Um, we'll, we'll never know. That's why it's a UFO. So, um, like I said, till we can see the pictures of it or have proof, I don't believe it. I, maybe it is because maybe they're. Uh, that's what they're trying to do: see how many people actually do see this craft, <laughs> and then they uh, take it from there and they can, how, like, they, how can, they can improve they can uh, their stealth uh, technology. So you think they're like they can read when some something's looking at them, and then exactly they have that person's information. They follow them around and figure out what they're do- up to. Maybe that, yeah, maybe that, or they even uh, take in you know uh, information you know of people calling in or anything like that. That's a good call because the way this guy's describing it, it sounds like the Batmobile or I guess the Batwing, whatever his uh, airplane Batwing. thing was called, and. Yeah, and another thing is that maybe somebody did get video of it, and the government tried shutting it down. Could be a uh, interesting theory on this one. Um, you know, anytime you have an aircraft with no lights, that's certainly a red flag. When Absolutely. it's flying low, it better have lights, yeah. and that should be the case for drones as well. Um, you don't see too many drones that look like stealth bombers out there, though. <laughs> no, not really. No. Very interesting story coming out of here, um, out of New Jersey town. Mike, what was the UFO story you were looking at? I know it does have video evidence that we're going to look at here yes. on the on the set of the trip yes. show. Yes. Now, uh, there is a video that we have here. Um, NASA uh, reportedly was forced to end a live stream from the International Space Station as uh, three UFOs blasted out of Earth's atmosphere. Really? Yes. Uh, so you they can came clear- from Earth. That's correct. You can clearly see three objects uh, come out of Earth's what? atmosphere, That's crazy. Um, heading out towards space, and then after the third one comes out, um, uh, the video stream cuts, and uh, that's it. Really? Okay, so we're watching this right now. So it's your basic outer space sight looking straight down at Earth. Yeah, half I think the they, screen's black, half the screen is Earth itself. I think they might have added this noise on the part. <laughs> Are we watching the movie Alien all of a sudden? Okay, so but, uh, I don't see anything yet. So Mike, keep your you, eyes on the black sky. How fast are they going to go? Okay, so on the, on the horizon on the black there. sky. Oh, yeah. we've got some zoom action here. Is this is going to help the cause. Music's very creepy. All right. There's... uh, Oh, where's that? Oh, okay. Wow, that's tiny. That's the beginning, and there's the right... Oh, there's another one. There's the second one. The fuck are those? And then... Those wouldn't be like rockets, because they're like flying at each other. And then... Oh, there's another one. Number three. And Dude, then, and they like disappear. Just keep in mind, this was a live stream by NASA. Here, um, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, anyway. this this was a live stream, and uh, after that, boom! Please stand by. The high definition Earth viewing experiment is experience ex- is uh, either. Yeah, it doesn't even show it anymore. 
Wow. All right, read that yeah. again, Mike. <laughs> it says it's either uh, switching oh. cameras uh, or we are experiencing a temporary loss of signal with the International Space Station. Wow, that's that's a crazy one, Mike. So you had very obvious UFOs flying out of the Earth's atmosphere. Absolutely. As soon as that's on the feed, NASA cuts the footage short, almost telling right. us right there, hey, we know something's up. We're not going to let you watch it. And, man, looking back to some of the UFO sightings that we witnessed, Mike, the one thing that made it extremely eerie and the one thing that got us thinking that we might be seeing something legit is the movement of the UFOs themselves. They weren't moving like, you know, like planes or anything. They have this sentient kind of movement that makes you have that creepy feeling in your stomach. Now, here's the thing. This is not the first time um, a type of this type of video has come out from... Uh, NASA live streams and everything. Mm -hmm. I've seen the same exact thing in many other uh, NASA videos, um, and I think it's been a a, some, a cover up for some time. I mean, have you ever seen them coming from outer space into like heading towards Earth? Yeah, absolutely. That's see, that's I mean, that's right. That's proof enough right there. Uh, there's something flying in and out and. Like I said, I could see if there was just one taking off. You're like, okay, maybe that's you know uh, right. a rocket coming right. from some, you know, from Russia or who knows satellite. Uh, who knows? But there was yeah. two of them kind of taking off at the same time, and they were like going right at each other, like same direction, pointed towards each other. And then there was a third one that came out after after the other one. Kind of odd timings from different locations. So I don't think it was anything like that. It, it's something that really we can't even explain right now. Yeah. I remember we covered a story, guys, about how. The, uh, the government was spending so much more money on exploring space than they were to explore our own oceans, which are unexplored at this point. Maybe they're not exploring it because they know what's hiding deep in the ocean, and that is potential UFOs. I mean, these things have to be hiding somewhere, and uh, that, that would make a lot of sense. This is definitely good evidence, Mike. I remember you told us that, hey, people are proclaiming this as the best evidence we've ever gotten and well, I, I kind of agree by well, looking at it. And you know why that is? It's because it's coming from the cameras of NASA. It's official video um, from a government entity. And, um, you know, when when you have video coming straight from the government mm -hmm. um, who, you know, typically covers these types of things up, uh, that's when people start to realize, hey, this is not a fake made by uh, someone in their, yeah. you know. It's not going to be Jim Bob. It's going to be someone from the government if it's from NASA. Interesting find, guys. We definitely are interested to hear what you think about it as well. We'll post the link to this one on the Trippy Show Facebook. Make sure to follow us there. Um, we have another UFO sighting, guys. This one appeared to morph shape while moving away from a helicopter. This was a Utah witness out of St. George. They witnessed a hovering bright white orb. It was under 500 feet altitude. It was being observed by a stationary helicopter. This was around the same time as the other sightings we just talked about. 10.30 p.m. This was June 17th, 2015. Uh, this is another case found on MUFON. Um, it was sweeping leaves off of a back pat or I'm sorry, the person was sweeping uh, leaves off the back patio. They were on the phone when they heard a sound of a hovering helicopter. Um, in the distance, they looked to notice the helicopter as well as the morphing UFO. Quote, I looked up and observed a clear view of a typical commercial or civilian type helicopter hovering over the adjacent residential and commercial area no higher than approximately 500 to 1,000 feet from the ground northwest of my vantage point. And uh, that was no more than a quarter mile away. And uh, despite the darkness, the witness said the helicopter looked very similar in shape to the hospital helicopter that has been seen in the area. So he was able to identify that, but unfortunately that same darkness made him unable to see the exact markings to make sure it was from, that hel from the uh, hospital itself. Nonetheless, they uh, did see a crazy looking form with sentient movement, much like the UFOs we talked oh. about earlier. Hmm. Um, and it was morphing size, so it was following the helicopter, and uh, within approximately 10 seconds of first noticing the sphere slash orb, um, it actually slowly began to move horizontally, maintaining the same altitude, and it proceeded eastward. 
Any take on this one, Mike? It sounds just like the other, all the other UFOs we've been seeing lately, other than the triangle. There's the dark triangle variety and now these bright morphing varieties. Uh, this one was seen at such a close view that it was seen morphing, perhaps confirming that this is maybe some form of energy. Well, I'll tell you what, if I saw a UFO at that proximity, I would be freaking out completely. Um, and especially if I saw it morphing, that would be crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't even know what to think. I mean, this uh, guy saw this for solid, it looked like 5-10 minutes. I, I mean, mean, he was just looking right at it. That would be amazing to see. Uh, I don't even really know what to say. Uh, that would just be amazing to look at, and uh, I'd be afraid that these aliens or whatever uh, are inside of it are going to try to kill me. That's what I'd be afraid of. Yeah, I mean, if they're capable of driving things that morph in the sky while they're observing a helicopter... Uh, you know, their technology is going to be on another level that we probably could not even handle. But for those of you who watched War of the Worlds, man, it just kind of reminds me of that movie to where they have such better technology than us. They're able to wipe us out yeah. in a heartbeat. But when they tried to live in our atmosphere, or get out, that's when they died. And that's that's when they had to retreat. Hopefully that works out in the real world. Thanks again for joining us for another edition of the Paranormal News. We'll be covering all the latest UFO sightings and stories from the supernatural right here on the trippy show and if you guys have any stories you want to call in and tell us we definitely would love to hear it 1-888-69-BUBBA 1-888-69-BUBBA we want to be the authority when it comes to paranormal news as we did in this installment where we covered perhaps the most shocking evidence yet uh, KMAC me and you are huge fans of Entourage yep. 